Hi guys and welcome in the next video. So today I wanted to touch base on vision systems and to be more exact I want to touch base about how the vision system and the robot should communicate and how they can understand each other. So we don't need to talk uh, per se about setting up the communication, it's more about the data that you can send from the camera to the robot and how they can understand what's going on uh, in the vision system. That's probably the most common issue I have found so far when I go uh, work on robots that usually uh, that communication or the way how the data is being interpreted is not set up correctly and that causes the vision system to fail or basically the success rate is pretty low uh, and that should not be the case for the vision systems. So let's get started. All right, so I told you about the issues with division system. So what do I mean by that? Uh, the most common issue I have found so far is either wrong frame used uh, for the vision offsets or the coordinate system of the vision system did not match with the coordinate system of the robot. So what does it really mean? Uh, so besides of very important things like aperture, light, uh, type of the camera that you're using, so on and so on, Let's put it on the side as the vision system itself. The most common problem that I found is basically that the data that was sent uh, from the camera to the robot had some numbers in it, but the numbers that were getting to the robots were exactly the same as the camera had sent them, but the way how the robot read those numbers were incorrect. So what do I mean by that? Uh, everything operates in an operating system. So I said many times in my videos that the frames are the most important thing in the robot and I'm going to keep that statement. So what I mean is when the camera sees something, it gives you uh, basically pixels and then those pixels are converted into uh, millimeters, but it has directions of X and Y, the same as the robot has X and Y. And now the most common uh, mistake that I see that the X and Y from the robot do not match with the X and Y from the camera. So basically the camera says, okay, the object has moved 10 millimeters uh, in Y positive. And that information is being sent to the robot, but the direction is not being set. So is it X or Y or Z or any other? It is just the data like plus 10 millimeters is being sent to the robot. So the robot reads the 10 millimeters and is going to interpret it the way he wants, right? And it will be uh, your role as a robot programmer to tell the robot where does 10 millimeter go? Left, right, X, Y, Z, whatever. Uh, so basically, when you're setting up the vision system, most likely you're going to use something that's called calibration grid. And those calibration grids usually have X and Y direction. So the first thing you have to do is basically on your vision system, you have to tell the vision system, okay, this is my uh, Y positive direction and this is my X positive di direction. So that'll be your first step. So now when you say plus 10 millimeters in Y, you know which direction uh, that is. Then the second thing is the robot. So now you have to take the robot and basically teach a base or user frame onto that calibration grid. So your origin matches, your X direction matches and your Y direction matches. If they do not match, your vision system will never work the way it should because just the data that's being sent is, be, is not, not going to be accurate. Of course, you can always do some uh, math and convert that data to something that robot will understand. But again, the whole idea is that those numbers has to match. So the Y direction for the robot and Y direction for the camera has to be the same. Uh, so how do you do this? Basically, you just teach a TCP on the robot and basically once you teach the camera X and Y direction using the grid, you're going to move the robot to the origin X and Y direction. And this way, basically the robot system and the camera are going to know which direction we're talking about. And that was the first most common mistake I've seen. The second is using wrong frames. So as you know, uh, most of our robots have at least two frames, which is the user frame and the base frame. And now for the vision system, actually it doesn't matter what you're using, but for the, cam for the robot, it does. Why? Because if you have something that's placed uh, somewhere on the table 
And then uh, it doesn't matter if the camera is stationary or the camera is being uh, held by the robot. When you see a, an object on a table that the robot has to pick, most likely you are going to use a base or user frame. Because imagine like uh, you would have the calibration grid somewhere, right? And then you have an object over on the calibration grid and the camera looks at that object. And the robot will come and basically what the camera will do is just say, okay, my hand moved this direction or that direction, so the robot can go and grab into that direction. And those will be the cases where you use your base or user frame. However, if a camera is looking at the robot gripper because you're holding something and you're not sure how to place it, then it has to be a tool offset. Because imagine that I'm holding something in my, head, in my hand, so the camera takes a picture, and now let's say my, one of my fingers moved. And now you take the picture. So in order for the robot to know how much this moved, it will be the tool frame, right? Because it's attached to axis six. So now basically when I will go to place, if my finger is in the old position, right? I'll place it like this. So now imagine that my finger moved here, right? So it's the robot tool that has to move a little bit. That's why you would use a tool offset in order to do that uh, drop position. So just like a most common uh, thing to remember is whenever you're looking at an, at an object that's somewhere stationary, not held by a robot, most likely you want to use a base or user frame. If the camera is looking at the robot and the gripper, most likely you want to use tool frame, tool frame to offset your positional data. Uh, and that's probably uh, the two most common things I want to talk about. I'm going to show you a little bit how uh, that works uh, on the system so you can see uh, where I'm getting. And uh, in the future, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the vision system itself, like why the lighting is important, why the lens is important, aperture, uh, focus, uh, then how big of the resolution the camera has and so on and so on. Uh, but that's in the future. For now, uh, let me show you how the vision system works. Okay, guys, so continuing with the topic of the view. Uh, I had a simple setup for you guys in here. So I have a robot that's going to uh, track a line. So uh, on the top corner, you can see there's a distance. And basically, uh, right here, you can see the robot and the line he's trying to track. So uh, I'm going to move the line uh, to a different spot. So let's say, let's move it a little bit. And as you can see, the distance currently is 21.85. Uh, uh, but the robot is still at its zero position. So that's why I told you the frames are important. Uh, so if I want to move that uh, 21.8 millimeters, the robot has to know uh, which direction does it move. Is it X, Y, and Z? And that's why we use the calibration grid before to tell the robot the orientation. So in our case, uh, if we go to my program and we're going to basically use a, a value for the offset. So our value, uh, as was shown, is uh, 21.85. Uh, we're going to set this value as our uh, vision value. And we're going to run the program. So I'm going first to move to the origin. And then uh, let's move to the new point. And as you can see, uh, the robot uh, tracked the line. And as you can see, uh, the robot pointer is aligned uh, with the line that we found. So let's move the line to a different spot. Uh, let's move the line the other way. OK. So uh, right now, the distance is minus uh, 7.25 millimeters because we moved the other way. So uh, in my vision program, uh, let's change that value to uh, what we see on the screen. So it's going to be negative. Uh, 7.25. It's so going to hit enter. Uh, let's set the value. Okay. And now, if we try to move to that point, you can see that the robot uh, follows to the line, uh, same as the visual is showing. So why do we know that all of this uh, works OK? So if you take a look at the system underneath, you'll see that uh, that system has a calibration grid in here. So you can see the x direction. You can see the y direction. So that's how the robot knows uh, which way it has to move. That's why you always should use the calibration grids 
uh, when you're teaching your visual systems and always your calibration grid, so what basically camera sees and what, what, what does the robot see, should match. So if you were to select now uh, your calibration grid uh, frame, which in my case is uh, base uh, number 10, so that's my front camera, and if I were to move uh, in, let's say, uh, X positive direction, you can see that the robot is moving towards the uh, X positive, right? If I were to move to Y positive, that also might go better. So we go Y positive. The robot moves uh, in the same direction. However, if you have not taught this frame before, what, was, what would happen? So let's select a word frame and I'm going to move X positive. So as you can see, X positive moves in the Y positive direction of our camera frame. And our X positive direction moves in the X negative direction of the camera frame. So that's why uh, those frames are so important because you need to tell the robot that the value that you can see uh, on the vision system, so the values I was putting in as my X direction, as you can see, they were the X direction. Otherwise, there will be no way for me to knowing uh, what to move. Another thing is, this is a base frame. If I were to try to move my tool frame uh, by that offset, the vision also won't work in this case because it's a, a vision system where I'm not presenting anything to the camera. It's the camera uh, that's stationary and it's trying to tell the robot where something is. If the robot would present something to the camera, then we would use a tool frame. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like always, don't forget to like, uh, follow and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.